Hello crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we will be creating some beautiful modern home decor projects with Dollar Tree items. Now as always, all of the projects I create have complete supply lists in the description box so you can easily use it for reference as you gather up your supplies. Now before we start, I have to say hey hey to all of my subscribers and if you are new to my channel today, I hope you consider subscribing as well. So now let's jump into the projects. Now this project is a lantern and stand combo piece. We're going to need some of the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. We're also going to need some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree or you can get these from Walmart. Now we're going to start off with our blocks. Go ahead and grab your L ruler. This will help everything stay straight. Now the first set of blocks we are going to be joining together are four blocks in a row. We want to lay them out side by side and then we're just going to be making eight sets of these. Now you can use wood hot glue or wood glue but I do highly suggest using regular wood glue for the very strongest bond but I will be using my wood hot glue today to speed up the process. So I'm going to join these end to end squeezing them together and then flipping the block set as I go. This helps uh, avoid the bowing and curving of your long pieces. Now here's a four block set all done and repeat this until you have a total of eight. Now the next set of blocks we're going to be joining together are two. So we're going to join these the same way we did the first time, just squeezing them together, wipe away any of that hot glue, and we're going to repeat this until we have a total of eight. Now the last set of blocks we'll be joining together are seven in a row laid side by side as shown here. We're going to be making two sets of these with our wood hot glue and then once those are done we have all of our pieces to put together our lantern. So we're going to go ahead and grab our two long four block pieces for one of the sides of the lantern and then grab one of the two block pieces. We're going to sit this right at the end with the four block seat butting right up to that and then we're going to squeeze those together to form this L shape. Now once that's bonded we can flip that over and then we're going to add another one of those two block sets at the other end to form this U shape. And then finally add that last four block set in that opening, add the glue, squeeze those together for a few seconds until it's bonded and now we have one of the panels done for our lantern. Now we're going to repeat this until we have four panels and here they are all done and ready to go. Now for those seven block sets, all we're going to do to these is join these right down the center to make one solid panel. So go ahead and add a line of glue down the center and then press the two seven block sets together to make one solid block. So now what we're going to do is to add our decoration and to do this we're going to be using some bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree or you can get these from Walmart just a little bit cheaper. Now to start my layout I like to start by laying that first skewer across the center from corner at the top to corner at the bottom end as shown here. Now I am trimming these down to size and then once I do that I'm going to add a dot of hot glue in each corner and lay this across the center. Now this center piece will be the guide to establish all your other their skewers and how they're laid so you want to make sure you do the center one uh, first so now we're going to just start adding skewers um, from the top of that skewer and on the bottom of that skewer just adding that hot glue on each end now I decided to go about one inch apart on my skewers it's completely up to you I just found one inch to look perfect for my project and we're just going to continue and repeat this process and add all of your skewers in place one inch apart. And here is one of the panels with that diagonal skewer pattern. Now we are going to repeat this and in order to keep everything nice and even, the best way is to stack one of the open panels on top of the ones with the skewer. And then to keep them in place, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few pieces of painter's tape just to keep them from sliding around. So now that you have the blank one on top of the one with the skewers, you can just copy that pattern, lining it up the same way, and when you're done, both of the skewers will have the same placement and now you have two panels all done. Now for the remaining two panels, I wanted the skewers to go in an opposite direction. So we're just going to do that same thing over again. We're just going to do it in reverse. 
And now we have four panels with the skewers all laid out and ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble our little lantern. Now when we assemble these together, we want to join two panels that have skewers going in the opposite direction to look like it's almost like a zigzag pattern. So to join it together, add a line of hot glue on one of the inner sides of the blocks and then lay the other panel right on side on the side of that little um panel piece to form a V shape. Now once that's done, we're just going to continue to add the panels one at a time all the way around it as shown here. Now once we have that last open panel, all we have to do is add that last one and now we have our uh, lantern all bonded together into one solid piece as shown here. You do want to make sure that it's all even all the way around. Now after a quick inspection and making sure everything looks good, we can finally add the bottom of our lantern, which is those two seven block pieces that we made earlier. We're just going to add this to either side of the open part of the lantern. It's completely up to you. We're going to add our adhesive around the opening on the bottom. And then once we do that, we're just going to place that block set right on top to form a solid bottom for our little lantern stand piece. Now before we paint, I'm just going to take a paintbrush and just remove all of those hot glue strings. You want to make sure you remove as much as possible before you paint. And then I'm going to take it outside and give it a couple of coats of some flat black spray paint. You can also stain or paint these or however you like. Now here are my little lanterns all done. I did double my recipe, so I have two of these little lantern pieces. I think they turned out really well. And you could just go ahead and inspect them and make sure that, you know, you got it covered pretty good. I know I missed some spots on mine and I'm going to take them out to touch them up. But here they are so far, you guys. They look so great on display. Now I do love the beautiful pattern of these and I did not want to take away from it so I used minimal accents to decorate them like some candles and some greenery. Now there's so many different ways that you can choose to decorate these and this is only one of them. Now you can add a candle stand to the bottom of them for a different look too. I do think that this is an easy way to change it up if you're going for a different style. Now I do love this one too, but you can also flip these over to make these into stands, you guys. How gorgeous is this? Now you can add anything on top that you like, or you can even add something to the center of them. Now, of course, the paint, the style, and the decor is all up to you. So I really do hope you guys enjoy recreating this fun project. Now this project is a modern wood and bamboo tray. We're going to need some tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And also some bamboo skewers. You can get these from Dollar Tree or Walmart. And we're going to need one of these natural si kind of wood si style boards that you can get from the Dollar Tree. They're in the sign section. They do have different cutouts, but that doesn't matter which one you choose. You could even choose a decorative long sign if you like. So we're going to go ahead and start with our blocks. Now the first set of blocks that we are going to be joining together for this project are seven block sets. So we're going to lay out seven of them side by side. Now you could use your wood hot glue or you could use your wood glue to join these together. Now when joining these together, just press them firmly together. Make sure you remove any of the hot glue that oozes out of the seam. And then we're going to be making a total of four of these. So this is one and then repeat until you have four. The next set of blocks we're going to be working on are blocks um, three. So we're going to add three of the blocks together the same way. And we're going to repeat this until we have four sets. 
So now we're going to start assembling our tray. So we're going to take one of the long seven block sets and then we're going to grab one block and place it on the very end of each one on top of that seven block set. We want to make sure there's one on each side. Once those are glued into place, just add your other seven block set at the other end, add your glue, and then press that to the other seven block set to make a long rectangular shape. Now we are gonna repeat this until we have a total of two of these. And here they are all glued together and ready to go. Now we're just going to repeat this for the three block sets as well, adding that one block in between the two sets. And we're just going to glue these together the same way we did for our rectangular pieces. And here these are ready to go. And this, these are the frames for your tray. Now to add the decoration, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my bamboo skewers again. I love adding these to the project. I think it just gives it a different look and they coordinate with a lantern that we previously made. Now I'm just gonna lay the skewers across the opening on one side. And what I decided to do is space them about one inch apart. That was a good number for me. So I'm gonna align it with the corner of the top and then go down maybe two, two and a half inches down to make my diagonal. Now you can use any kind of degree of diagonal that you like, but this is something that I was comfortable with in mine. So I decided to stick with that. Now once you get your piece cut and ready to go, go ahead and add some hot glue to each one of the ends and then place it right in place where you decided to place it. Now, if you want to go ahead and pre-mark all of your marks to make this easier, you definitely could, but I kind of eyeballed this all the way around. Now, keep in mind when you lay your first bamboo skewer, this will establish the design and pattern all the way down. And I'm going to place another one one inch apart all the way down until it's filled. And here is one of my panels all completed. Now again, we're going to repeat this pattern and I like to repeat it by placing it right on top of the other one and then copying it on to the other panel to make sure you have two equally spaced panels. Now for the smaller panel, we're going to do the same thing with our bamboo skewers by laying them across in a diagonal to keep the design and pattern consistent. Now to do this, all I'm going to do is place that smaller piece on top of the larger piece and you can see, you can see the pattern right through there. So I'm just going to continue to clip and bond each one of those skewers across there, just matching up the pattern on the one below. And this will keep the des design and the pattern consistent throughout the project. Now you could choose any kind of glue that you would want to. I prefer a wood glue for a lot of my wood projects, but wood glue would work for this project just fine. So here is one of the side panels all done and you could see that it matches up really cool, really neat. I love how this works out. And then we're going to repeat this for our other small side panel the same way by laying it on top and then copying that pattern right on there. And now all four sides of our tray are completed. So now we're going to start to assemble the side of our tray. As you can see, we're going to lay the short side on top of the edge of the longer side. We're going to add hot glue to the outer edge of that smaller side and bond it right up against that longer tray side. You want to press and hold that for five to 10 seconds to make sure it gets a nice grab. And once that initial bond has happened, we are going to um, repeat this process and grab the other long panel. And we're going to bond that to the other inside edge of that shorter panel. Now, after making sure it fits okay and none of those bamboo skewers are getting in the way, add your bead of hot glue or wood glue of your choice. And then carefully place the other side of the tray and just press it firmly in there.
Okay, so now we got those initially bonded. Then we're going to repeat the same thing and add the other end of the tray to the open end. And once it sits for a few minutes and bonds solid, here is the side panels of your tray all fully assembled. So we're going to set that to the side and now we're going to grab our wood grain sign. I love these wood grain signs because they are the exact width of our tray for this project. So it will eliminate any extra cuts, which I love. So I just sat my tray on top. I marked the total length and then I'm going to cut that piece off. This wood is so easy to cut with just a basic utility knife. You can get one of these from Dollar Tree. They have them in yellow or you can get them from a home improvement store. But once you run it across there, it just snaps right off as I show here. And now that you have that done, just take your tray piece, do a little Q uh, A to make sure it fits, then just add your adhesive all along the opening edge of your tray and then place your cut piece right on top and just press it firmly down. Try to eliminate as many gaps as possible. You want to make sure that this is really secure. And here's your tray all nice and bonded, you guys. This was so easy to make, but it still turns out so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take it out and give it a couple of coats of some black flat spray paint on mine, but you can paint or stain beforehand if you like. Now, after a few hours, here's what it looks like. It's all completely dry and I am loving how it looks. I'm going to take it out and touch up a few of the little areas, but this is the basic look of the tray and I am loving the general pattern of this and I think it's going to be gorgeous in decor. So now all you have to do is grab some of your favorite decor and decorate it however you like. Now I really love how this cute tray turned out and you can use acrylic paint or even stain beforehand to make a natural beautiful piece. Now this was so fun to make and I really do hope that you guys give this really fun and easy project a try. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, if you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. It's absolutely free. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.